Operating the BWB XP is very intuitive and user-friendly. I will now briefly show you how to navigate through the menu structure. Later, we will cover calibrating the device and how to take readings. There are three ways to navigate through the menu structure. Firstly, the up and down arrows and pressing accept, pressing the number ion buttons, and finally, the three shortcut buttons, read, calibrate, and multi-mode. There are a variety of submenus, and at any time, pressing the back button will revert to the previous menu item. At various times, the operator will be prompted by the BWB XP to carry out an operation. Now that the BWB XP is set up and ready to go, the next step is to calibrate the instrument. Before we start our calibration, we can set the units in which we want to calibrate and display. The BWB XP can be set to parts per million, milligrams per litre, milli equivalents per litre, and millimoles per litre. There is an additional units option for those who wish to use a different method of measurement. For our example, we will choose parts per million. There are three types of calibrations we can do. Single point, multi-point and multi-mode. We will start with the most common type, the single point calibration. The single point calibration involves one standard and a blank to set the zero point. Of course, all calibrations require a blank to set the zero point. Let's do a single point calibration of potassium at 50 ppm and while we are calibrating, we can use the FP PC software to follow along. The BWB XP will offer prompts as we go through the steps of a calibration. From the main menu, choose Calibrations. Go to Calibrate Ions and choose Potassium. For a single point calibration, enter 1. Begin by aspirating the blank and press the blank key to begin the process. Of course, as the BWB XP is warming up, we recommend you aspirate the blank continuously. While we are waiting for the process to complete, we can follow its progress on the FPPC. When the blank is ready, we are prompted to enter the concentration of the standard. Key in 50 on the BWB XP. Press Accept. Start aspirating the 50 ppm potassium standard. Press Accept again and the calibration point will be determined. Again, we can follow along with the FPPC as the calibration progresses. When the calibration is finished, tick on the Retrieve Calibration box and the FPPC will now be ready to report potassium readings. The BWBXP allows us to enter as many as 14 calibration points plus the blank, so we can bracket our expected unknown sample values very closely thereby increasing the precision and accuracy of the readings. The process is similar to the single point calibration, but when we are prompted for the number of points, we will enter three. Run the blank as before. For our first standard, key in 40. Start aspirating the 40 ppm potassium standard. The next standard is 50 ppm in 50 and aspirate. Our final standard is 60 ppm. Key in and aspirate. Again, we can follow the process along with the FPPC software. If we want to calibrate several ions at several calibration points, we could repeat a multi-point calibration for each ion, but this would be quite time intensive. The BWB XP offers the user a multiple ion multi-point calibration. For this calibration, three ions will be used, sodium, potassium and lithium, at three different concentrations. Standard 1 has 90 parts per million sodium, 40 parts per million potassium and 10 parts per million lithium. Standard 2 has 100, 50 and 20 respectively. And standard 3 has 110, 60 and 30, also respectively. 
From the main menu, we can go through the Calibrations menu and to the Calibrate Ions menu, where we will opt for number 8, Multi. Or we can press the Multi Mode key and go to the same location directly. For each ion, pressing its respective key will toggle between Yes and No. Yes, it will be included in the calibration. No, it will not be included. The up and down keys can also be used to toggle between yes and no. In this calibration, we toggle to yes for sodium, potassium and lithium. We are prompted for a number of points, enter three. Run the blank as before. We are now prompted for standard one, sodium, enter 90. Potassium, enter 40 and lithium, enter 10. Aspirate standard one and key accept. We are now prompted for standard two. Enter 100 for sodium, 50 for potassium, and 20 for lithium. Aspirate standard two and watch on the FP PC. Repeat for standard 3 by entering 110 for sodium, 60 for potassium, and 30 for lithium. Aspirate standard 3 and watch on the FPPC. Remember to tick the Retrieve Calibration boxes for each ion calibrated. The multi-mode calibrations offered by the BWBXP has allowed us to cut our calibration time by two-thirds. The more ions and points desired, the more time you will save. Welcome to the BWB training series. Today we will be looking at how to set up a tray using the BWB Auto Fluid Handling System and the BWB Bio Flame Photometer. The AFHS has been designed to automate the calibration and sampling workflow. Your AFHS can accommodate up to 89 samples. From the main menu, select serum or urine and your ions of interest. Select number 8, AFHS. Note AFHS interface must be on. Now choose Tray Setup. A tray ID number 0 to 99 can be entered for future reference. The size of the tray, 1 to 89, is the number of samples to be tested. During a run, the calibration can vary. For example, atmospheric conditions can change the flame characteristics. To accommodate for this, a calibration correction standard is placed at the positions specified under the Recalib menu. This allows for corrections to be performed at set intervals throughout the test run. Up to five positions can be specified. The active ions for the particular test will be corrected at those points. Option 4 allows you to view the automatically set dilution ratio. Sodium and potassium have a dilution ratio of 100 to 1, whereas lithium and calcium have a dilution ratio of 10 to 1. The previous results can be erased using clear. When the tray details have been entered, press back and select start to commence the test run but make sure there is sufficient diluent in the reservoir first. The testing will be paused if the reservoir runs out of diluent. Upon topping it back up, the testing will automatically start again from where it left off. A blank correction is performed at the start of each test. The large pot on the left side of the auto sampler should be filled with DI only. The test should then continue to completion without further intervention. Each result will be printed, if the printer is on, and sent to the FPPC software. These can be captured in the Report tab by checking the Auto Read checkbox. When the run has finished, the results can be retrieved via Results, printed again, or uploaded to FPPC software via AFHS tab Retrieve. Once the results have been transferred to the FPPC software, they can be formatted into suitable reports in CSV or PDF formats and stored at a convenient location on the user's PC or network. Calibration corrections can be carried out individually if required. Calibration solutions are provided for urine and serum. To keep the instrument at peak accuracy, it is recommended to undertake regular calibration corrections. 
For the purposes of this tutorial, we will be calibrating for serum with sodium and potassium as the ions of interest. From the BWB Bio main menu, select Serum and press Accept. Now select Sodium Potassium. Select Calibrations. Select Correct. And finally, select Correct Blank. The AFHS will now read the sample solution and will correct the blank reading upon completion. First off, pour the calibration solution into a vial and place in the first position of the AFHS carousel. From the BWB Bio main menu, using either the keypad or the up and down arrows, select Serum and press Accept. Now select Sodium Potassium. Select Calibrations. Select Correct. And finally, select Correct Calibration. The AFHS will then proceed to take a reading and recalibrate the curve. The process only takes a couple of minutes and helps to ensure that your BWB Bio is running at peak accuracy. For more information on BWB flame photometers, head over to bwbtech.com where you can find more video tutorials, FAQs and a wealth of additional information. Thanks for watching and see you next time.